Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today we are at Tackle Tactics HQ and we're going to talk how to rig and fish a Z-Man 10 times tough creature bait and that is the three inch baby goat. So the baby goat, as you can see, two legs on the back here, remember out of the packet, we want to break those two legs apart and that gives us maximum action when we're in the water. So you can see the profile of this lure. We've got a grub style body, but that body is flattened out. And we've got those two flattened pieces there with large kicking feet. So this plastic is not a top water lure as such, but it's an awesome top water presentation. So today I just want to talk you through some jig heads that will fit this plastic beautifully and how we might fish those jig heads. So first up, we'll kick things off with a Headlocks HD. So we'll kick off with standard rigging and then go to our weedless. So on a Headlocks HD jig head, this plastic is gonna be ideal for a stack of fresh and saltwater species. And I've got it here rigged on a size one, a size one O, and also a size two O. So for those of you that are chasing a big brim upgrade, you may wanna switch that down to a two. And for those of you that wanna chase bigger fish, you may squeeze a three O in there. But for me, the sweet spot with this plastic is a size one, a one O, and a two O. And that covers you for pretty much everything from big brim through to bass, flathead, other species as well. And that Headlocks HD is on a brutally strong mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So it's designed for stopping big fish, even though it is down to that size one hook. So that's our Headlocks HD. Remember the black top and the blue bottom on the Headlocks HD. Of course, we can also rig that on the finesse. So that's the Headlocks finesse which has the colors reversed and that's the light wire hook. So that's all about maximum penetration on light lines and with light drags. So again, we can run it with that fine wire hook in that size one, one oh, two oh is absolutely perfect for a bunch of different species. So that's our Headlocks HD and our Headlocks Finesse. From there, because our Headlocks HD is the same hook that is in our Revlock series of jig heads, so it's that black nickel mustard chemically sharpened hook, we can also rig that on the Revlox jig head as well. So what this does is it basically gives us our two kicking feet and it also gives us that added flash and vibration underneath there as well. So this is gonna be dynamite on Saratoga, bass, yellow belly, Murray cod, all sorts of species that love that bit of bling. And it's also a bit of a secret weapon for guys that are fishing for snapper as well. They love that flash and vibration. So again, because it's built on that same hook, we can go with that size one, the 1.0 and also that 2.0 are perfect in that plastic. So, you know, we might take it right down to that size one in a one eighth for spinning the creeks and stuff for bass, up it to that 2.0 and we might be after a bit bigger stuff, the, the snapper as well as those freshwater species. So that's our TT Lures Revlox jig head in a size one, 1.0 or 2.0 to add that bit of flash and vibration to your presentation. But we've still got some other standard rigging options here as well. So the little baby goat, I've caught a few fish already on the Demon's jig head. So you can see how beautiful that there looks. That's the three inch baby goat from Z-Man on a Demon's in the green color. So you can use that Demon's head to make your plastic look more natural. So in that case there, we're matching our plastic. Otherwise, you might wanna create a little bit of bling. So you can use that chartreuse head, which is a UV reactive head to just create a little bit of pop in that plastic as well. So again, our size one, our size one oh, and our size two oh are perfect in that three inch baby goat. Allowing us to do, you know, natural presentations like those guys there or to bling it up. So that's the Demon's Jig Head from TT Lures. From there, we've got a couple more options. So hidden weight system. So I know the Brim guys out there love their hidden weights. So this is probably the most natural way that you can present a plastic because our weight from our jig head is actually concealed inside the plastic. So all that's there is our plastic, our attachment point and our hook point. So in terms of brimbos that might be a little bit spooky, the only thing they're gonna see is this plastic and then they're gonna find that hook. So very, very natural presentation, lightly weighted presentation, but what that does is it allows you to flick it in around the pontoons, let that plastic get sucked onto the pontoon. And with those little claws, those little legs on there, it's gonna be like a little crab that's unattached itself or it's fallen off from underneath the pontoon, drifting down, Brim's gonna come in and smash it. So again, I've got that there on a size one, a size one oh, and also a two oh. So that allows you to step up into even fishing bass and stuff in the creeks and shallow stuff where you just want that really slow natural fall. 
So that's our hidden weight system with our three inch baby goat in a one, a 1.0 and a 2.0 with that weight concealed inside the plastic. And then one of my favorites, the Ned Rig. I love the Ned Rig system. So this is the Ned Locks jig head. So that's a TT Lewis Ned Locks, a mushroom style jig head. And the idea being that rapid stand up of that plastic. So we flick it out there, give it a few twitches, drag it, whatever you want to do. And because that Z-Man 10 time stuff plastic is naturally buoyant, we're going to get that quick stand up. So this guy here with our two little feet, we're getting that defensive pose of a crab. So defensive pose attracts the fish. Movement attracts the fish. So this, this presentation, the Ned Rig attracts fish right throughout the retrieve, no matter what you're doing with the plastic. And that's going to attract fish, trigger strike. So for me, I've got brim, tarwine, grunter, a few different species fishing the Ned Rig, as well as flathead on that three inch baby goat. So that's the size one. And again, with our painted head, we've got the option of a natural presentation or we can bling things up with a bit of a strike trigger with that chartreuse or that orange head. And that's the size one in a, in a Nedlocks jig head. Of course, with our Nedlocks, we've also got our Nedlocks EWG. So we've got a weedless option as well in that Ned Rig. So we're getting that rapid stand up presentation. This plastic with its flat back, it's like a squashed grub. So it's flat back makes for beautiful weedless rigging because it's got that flatter back for the, the weedless hook to lay against. So that's gonna get right in amongst the ugly stuff, right in amongst the weed and the snags, fish hits it, hook clears, and we get our hook up. So that's on the Nedlocks EWG, a weedless option in that Ned rig for rigging that baby goat. Then we come through to our other weedless options. So this plastic has gone great guns as a surface plastic. And you can see with that flattened body and those kicking feet, it is gonna run across the surface beautifully. It's a bit more subtle than say a frog, 2.75 inch finesse frogs. So it lands a bit softer and it's kicking feet are a little bit more subtle. So if the fish are a bit spooky, Saratoga, bass, that sort of stuff that might be a bit spooky, this plastic is gonna be perfect for them. So Robbie Wells has already had some awesome sessions on the toga on this, so stay tuned for that footage. But that's a, a great service presentation. As Z-Man says, this is not just a top water bait. It can be rigged subsurface as we've spoken here. It's also a great trailer on your chatterbait or your spinnerbait or your buzzbait or other lures as well. So that's on a 2.0. It rigs beautifully on a 2.0 chin locks. The great thing about that is it allows us to be run on our chin locks and our snake locks in the heavy hook as well as in the finesse hooks. That starts at a 2.0 in the heavier hooks. So we can run it top water on that 2.0. If we want a bit more weight for casting it, we can go to a Chinlox SWS. So that SWS is a snagless weight system. So we've got our belly weight on there as well as our weedless hook there. So that just gives you a little bit more weight for casting it. It can also put a bit more weight towards the edge of the legs and make them work a little more aggressively as well. So that's weedless on a 2.0 Chinlox SWS. And of course, We've also got the snake lock locks option, which basically allows you to regulate your weight and your hook size. So here with this plastic, we're gonna run a 2.0, but we can snap that off and we can change our head weight. So you might fish it on a 1 12th, 1 8th, 1 6th, 1 quarter, 3 8th. You can choose your weight to get down into that structure where you want that plastic to be. So that's on a 2.0 in the snake locks jig head. For me, I've had awesome success fishing it on a snake locks finesse. So the finesse hook is a slightly different shape and the hook point actually sits even better against that plastic. It actually pushes down a little into the plastic, which makes it absolutely weedless. So I've fished a whole flathead session up against the mangroves with this plastic rigged like that. And I didn't take weed off the whole time, which was awesome. And I've landed three flatties, including a nice mid 60s size fish that, that ate that. So the, being a super soft and flexible elastic material, Fish bites it, it clears very, very easily. So I fished it on a one, but it also rigs well on a 1.0 and also on a 2.0. So 2.0 about maxes it out for me. Some of you I know will squeeze the 3.0 in, but it, uh, for me, a 2.0 sits nice, gives you a bit of plastic at the end of there to work with as well, to get those legs really kicking. So that's a 2.0, a 1.0 and a size one in the TT Lures Snake Locks Finesse Jig Head. Another weedless option. So there you go. As you can see, that is an extremely versatile plastic. So that's just jig head rigged. You can also put it on your spinnerbait. You can also put it on your skirted jigs, buzz baits, chatter baits, all sorts of other lures as well. Color wise, there's a stack of colors in the range. So we've got our light natural colors. We've got our darker silhouette colors. 
we've got those brighter colors and we've also got UV reactive colors in the range. So even though there's only half a dozen colors in that range initially, you've, your bases are pretty well covered from your light natural colors, dark silhouette colors, fluoro bright colors like that green pumpkin orange and also that hot snakes UV reactive color. In terms of scent, when I'm setting up the three inch baby goat, I like to try and keep the story. So I'm fishing crustacean-y looking creature -y style thing. So I'll generally fish a saltwater yabby, a shrimp or a blue crab style of scent. But any of those super gel scents, I'd rather have some super gel on there than none at all. Definitely attracts fish and trigger strikes as well. Much more committed bite and a better hookup rate. So there you go. That is a deadly little 10 times tough creature bait from Z-Man. Make sure you check out the Z-Man three inch baby goat and all of those rigging options are available to you. So get out there and get stuck into a few. Cheers.